I have uh, worked together since when? Seventy six. Early seven, middle seventies. Middle seventies. Wow. Wow. So, um, yeah. yeah. And you were just telling me how how uh, Kim met your mother, oh, yeah. and with his mother back yeah. in New York. Eighty six. Oh, this is regarding the uh, yeah. the telephone voices. About the telephone. Which, thing. Yeah. 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 Alright, so you I know you don't want to you don't want to talk too much about the background stuff, but I, I think it's important for the for the viewing audience here just to understand how you ran into Ron P, who was a very well known personality yeah. in yeah. ufological circles. Well that was now. through uh, MUFON. Through MUFON. Okay, MUFON. Well, explain that. That's an interesting story. Well, that um, that I did have a, another kind of set of experiences just like synchronicity and, and a little bit of whatever um, no no encounters or anything nothing that couldn't be explained uh, but anyway it, it did lead me to call MUFON and they came out and interviewed me and um, and I and I joined and got the first journal and it was about crop circles and I decided to start calling and when, when was this? in England I was um, 90 that was June of 91. 91. And, and I, what, what did come from these experiences in, in uh, June, early June, was that there was something urgent about what I'd been doing, about the, the eschatology and the metaphysics and all that. And so I had the feeling I, I should call 911, and I didn't know, you know, but I didn't really? know. 911? No, not, well. But you you didn't actually call me. No, 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 metaphorically. Right. And and, um, and event both both the the people in England uh, referred me back the to metaphysical someone here and, yeah. and someone out at NASA Ames, the crop circle people in England and and the, some uh, scientists at NASA Ames referred. Yeah, there's somebody at the CIA that you might want to talk to. Okay. And that and I got his phone number and it turned out to be Ron. Interesting. And so you have developed a relationship over the years. How did Ron yeah. respond when you called him in 91, 1991? Um, oh, like he, like he was expecting, almost expecting okay. me to call like, him. Like what happened to kind me at Stanford Research Institute in 73. Okay. And, and, uh, and then there was that thing where he told me, like in a second conversation, that he was going to go out to Los Alamos to talk to the aliens, and I figured he was jerking my chain. Yes. So I put that out on the CompuServe UFO forum and and so forth and and in 91? They still yeah. I was there in 91. Oh. oh yeah. The beginnings of the internet, that's right. Yeah. And um, anyway, things just went on went on from there. So you got into the internet at the very beginning. 91. I don't think I was on the internet until oh, yeah. 93 I, or 94 I, I, when uh, Lee yeah. Myers got me the computer, you know? Well, they had, um, before they, they, they actually had, had the yeah, World Wide Web. It was web. not internet. No, it wasn't it, the internet. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was CompuServe bulletin boards. Bulletin boards. Like the, remember yeah. we had the conference tree yes. back in the, the 70s? Yeah, bulletin boards. I mean, we had one of the first uh, computer yeah. bulletin boards in yeah. San Francisco. Oh, wait, is that, was that from the Mac? Was That That was, we were running off of an Apple IIe in, the Apple in, IIe. in my hotel room oh, yeah. when I was yeah. living in the Liguria. God, and was that early? We could... We could have uh, one person at a time yeah. call up and 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 yeah. type in. Was a this message. before or after we met Ira Einhorn and Belinda? So this was showed before. Us the this was before we met Ira. Before we met Ira, when Ira was coming from Esalen and yeah, and he, had, and he had and he had and he had that Jacques little he had that yeah. little uh, uh, suitcase. Um, Modem typewriter. Oh, I had yeah. one of the a Texas instrument. Yeah, yeah it was a seven, TI. Yeah, it had an acoustic modem coupler on it. it and then, a, yeah, and he was suitcase. coming from Institute and, of the and, Future. Jacques right, Institute right. Of the future. And he could do, and he was doing email. He was doing email. Ten, doing email. He was, was, was part of DARPA. Right. That was right. part it was of part DARPA. Of, it was ARPA. Yeah. ARPA. ARPA. Yeah. ARPA. Yeah. So this is like yeah. 1979. Yeah, 78, 79. And who was right around there. And who, who was this again? Was Ira Einhorn. Ira Einhorn, oh, who really? was convicted wow. of murdering. Yeah, he was his, already uh, indicted. Yeah. He had already yeah. been indicted. And uh, was, Arlen Spector uh, was his lawyer. He was staying in a house in, in the Bolinas Mesa and technically a fugitive at the time. No, no, I don't think, no. Oh, he, he wasn't. wasn't. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Oh, he hadn't been indicted yet. No, no, he was no, He was indicted. And he was supposed to appear in court. And I think he told, I don't know what he suggested, I don't know what, it, I remember, did he say he was never going to go to court or something? He may, I don't know what, I, I don't, you I don't know, quite it's been remember. so long. It's been so long, yeah. He, said he, he was, was with that he, woman. He, he was proclaimed his woman. innocence. Awesome. He proclaimed his innocence. He proclaimed his innocence, and I immediately said when we left, I think he's lying. Yeah, well, we don't, yeah. 
And he was con eventually convicted of eventually the convicted. brutal murder of his girlfriend. Yeah. I thought he was lying. Well, anyway, yeah. So you got involved on CompuServe, and you know, this is back in '91. Yeah. And and yeah. so that took yeah. you down the road, the UFO road, I guess, yeah. huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, let let's jump forward to today. Right. Okay. Which is why am I here again? For I've been come out periodically to visit Jack in San Francisco. And, um, you know, to proposition, I come out to proposition, Jack, basically. <laughs> and the proposition is about the eschaton. And as I, as I said, to, said to Jack at lunch, that it appears that Ron wants to play the eschaton card. And let's you know, regardless of what we think about the eschaton, that, you know, we should do our patriotic duty and, and help him out. Well, explain here. that a little bit more for the audience. Which part of that? About, well, just about, all right, are, are we, we, does Ron believe that we are headed towards Ron some kind of is imminent not catastrophic... Paid, Ron is not paid to believe anything. All right. In fact, he's paid not to believe anything, he is, and this is all allegedly. Operative. This is always the, the words allegedly. Uh, uh, understood. Oh yeah, uh, all right. Yeah. we don't know that Ron would agree with Dan's. No, Ron of this. never agrees with anything I say. He'll always right. deny Which, it. Yeah, well, no. but That's anyway. called plausible deniability. Right. <laughs> so there are two sides to this UFO thing. There, there's the, um, you know, the scientific side. Yes. Which and is there's my the, side. Which is Jack's side. And there's the metaphysical side. Or the spiritual side. Or too. spiritual side. And and all I'm you know, propositioning Jack here is you know, maybe we can co temporarily cooperate to, to um, you know, get a little better alignment with, between the physical and the metaphysical. Okay. And to help out our scientific, my former Jack's present scientific colleagues to... To um, you know, prepare them a little better prepared for if something does have to be disclosed. Like like or, like the alleged story, of what's going to happen in 2017 with the uh, flyovers? Uh, yeah. So like the Independence Day. Scenario. Oh, why don't you elaborate yeah. on that a bit? Yeah, with this Navy guy. What's the story with this naval? Well, right. Officer, yeah. maybe say a little bit about that. Well, I mean, I you know, he may be one of the most important witnesses, uh, quote unquote, to since. Rick Doty, quote unquote, as far as I thought, being... Ron has his doubts about Doty. Oh, he does, of okay. course, he okay. does. Um, but still, but but in in terms of being in the military and being involved in a weird stuff, Area Fifty One stuff. Yeah, and telling all kinds of stories that that this this Source A, so called, who showed up back in in two thousand and six. Um, on on the on the internet, um, not not directly, but but through the, the the Pickering brothers in New York. Yeah, wasn't he involved in some exchanges with Robert Collins? No, with Bruce McAbee. Bruce McAbee. Okay, no, that's a more reliable no. source. No, I mean that that he, he's he's a known naval officer, and and Rick Doty was never even an officer. Yeah. As far as we know, Doty was a non-com. Non-com. Right, he was a sergeant in the this, Air Force. In the Air Force guy, Intelligence, though. He was uh, Doty yeah. was in the Richard Doty was Air Force. He was involved. Wasn't Doty uh, involved? Doty uh, was yeah. involved in the Beno Benowitz affair. Benowitz, yeah. Right. Just. just uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some background. And and um, so Source A has been vetted by real people, and Rod has never denied that he isn't a legitimate naval officer. On active, sir, and active, continuing active duty, and, and so why is he telling these what stories? Right, right, so people. let's what what did this know, what did probably the, command what did this vetted naval other. officer tell you? Didn't tell me anything, but he told oh, you Pickering's met. of all kinds of stuff. Oh, so you got this second hand from Pickering? Oh yeah, no. Okay, I you know. never met the man. Oh, no, okay, no, I just no, want to no, be right. Clear. So what is the this what is hearsay? Is, this what is what what is supposed to happen? Well, well, that that yeah, in 2017, that that there's they're gonna show up in a major public way, 
the visitors uh -huh. and like District Nine giant ships or something, right. Independence or, or Independence Day. Day. Stuff. Well, Independence. Yeah. I mean, are they going to be attacking? Are they going to blow up the White no, House? No, no, like no, no, no. They'll just show up. <laughs> They'll just show up. Show up. They'll just show up. Like an alien nation. And I call it. Like I call it shock and awe. Shock and awe. And 